Well, I got to be on point. I got the on point experience. You know why? Because my name is Dr. Dre. I got the Yasmin on point experience. I got the Big Jeff on point experience. I got the Ray Ray on point experience. And of course, I'm with the man D Nasty with the on point experience because that's the only way Dr. Dre rolls on point experience. All right, and that was Rye with Back to Life. Such a good song. I love yeah, that song. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> shout out to Rye. Big shout out to uh, Dr. Dre, uh, his show Flesh Moon. I believe I'm on the show this weekend. Yay! Oh, sucky. Uh, and and uh, a place that's undisclosed and uh, a time that's undisclosed. But as soon as we, we, we confirm, I will share the details. But big awesome. shout out to him. You know, that's like my dream. You know, I've always been a fan. I keep telling y'all, my I, I grew up listening to Dr. Dre and Lover. So if I'm being interviewed on his show, I don't care. I'm just like, whatever, whatever I need to do, man. I'm there. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, they got so, a Yo MTV Raps uh, show coming up at the Barclays. The Barclays, yeah. yeah 25th yeah. summer anniversary. Should be nice. Yeah, so nice I'm lineup. like, um, he's like, yo, come and be a part of my team, Flesh Wound. I know he's like, no oh, doubt. Son. No <laughs> doubt, son. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> so we're going to do a, a quick uh, a transition. Um, our guest is going to uh, join us and close out the show. So we are going. We are pleased to have our segment "Husband Tips" by our very own Mike Check. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, we're doing husband tips, and this husband tips is called husband talk, and we're taking it straight from the movies. We're going to take several scenes from movies Ooh. that have significant, yeah, that has significance and things of that nature. So the first one is from The Color Purple. And I needed someone to support me, so I have a thespian I enlisted. Say yes, production is <laughs> doing so much these days. <laughs> I'm pleased to introduce my co-star. Model slash. Uh, <laughs> model <laughs> slash, slash actress. Thespian. <laughs> <laughs> My girl, mm -hmm. yes, talented boy. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one I want to talk about guilt and how guilt can make a man do things out of character. Pa, I hear you've been spending more time at Harpo's than in the field. Well, I guess I just raised you wrong. How's that, Pa? How's that? Fields overgrown, animals ain't tended to. This house is a wreck. And what you doing about it? Nothing. Just sitting here, drinking, ruining your life. My life already ruined. The house is dead. There ain't no sugar. There ain't no children. There ain't no laughter. There ain't no life. Just me. I ain't heard such nonsense in all my <laughs> life. Now listen to me. I know just what you need. You need you a woman. Nice little young girl to clean up the house. Iron your shirt. Bye, bye, Pa. You listen to what I got to tell you now. Bye, Pa. Uh, bye. Uh, get yourself a young girl. You heed your daddy's advice. <laughs> <laughs> Scenes. <laughs> now, if y'all remember. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Now, if you remember uh, Color Purple, <laughs> you know, no. he was balling out. He was doing his thing. He was. But he was doing very negative <laughs> things to his wife. Right. He was uh, not letting uh, the wife's sister. Mm. Uh, contact them, the letters, holding back information, and she got so fed up, she put that curse on him. Mm. And how'd the curse go? Until you do right by, by me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say it. I, I didn't say it right, so I wasn't gonna say it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but I know that look. <laughs> and that's one thing I've learned about females and we males. We put curses on you. And, and you know what, though? Y'all don't do it till y'all are at a point. At mm -hmm. a point. Because y'all are so forgiving, <laughs> and y'all oh, give so my, many we, chances. Oh, MG. But when they get to the point when it's like, enough is enough, just fall back. Tie it. Tie it. Mine back. is just an evil green eye glare. Is that what it is? No coming back from the curse? <laughs> and a bottle. Baby, lift this curse off, man. And so that's guilt. That's why I can't get a job because mm -hmm. you put this curse on. You know what? Wait, you know what? <laughs> and, and it's not the curse, it's the guilt. It's the guilt. Guilt will make you act out of character. Absolutely. Because you know you don't deserve nothing good because you've been spreading all that evil. Mm. And so Thank that's you. how the, the guilt eats you up. So the next point I'm going to talk about is valor. And I think with a lot of black men in particular, valor is missing from your life. When a man can't do something in his life that demonstrates valor, mm -hmm. he resorts to other things. That's why gang activity. You think you're doing something hot because you murked somebody in the gang because that was valor. That's not valor. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You was just riding. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, and when a man can create episodes when he's doing true energies that demonstrate valor, he fulfills himself. And so I'm gonna give you an example of valor. We're gonna go to this movie called Bronx Tales. Okay. Uh oh. <clears throat> <Love that movie>. <laughs> um <laughs> My girl, Yaz, is playing Sonny. <laughs> Yazzie. And, and I'm Lorenzo. <laughs> Yazzie. Scene. First of all, I respect you, Lorenzo. You're a stand-up guy. We're from the same neighborhood, but don't ever talk to me like that again. I tell you, your son go to school to go to college. I'm with your son. Y you don't understand. It's not what you say, it's what he sees. The clothes, the cars, the money, it's everything. He tried to throw away his baseball cards the other day because he said, Mickey Hello. Mantle would never pay my rent. Hi, uh, he said that to you? I can't believe this kid. That's not funny. It's not <laughs> funny when your nine-year-old kid has a bigger bank account than you do. Okay. I offered you a job, Lorenzo, but you said no to me. That's right, and I say no now. Just leave my son alone, please. Uh, do you see how I treat that kid? I treat that kid like he is my son. He ain't your son. He's my son. He's, wait, he's what? I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> I know who you are, Sonny. I know what you're capable of, but I would never step out of line. You can ask anybody in the neighborhood who knows me, but this time, you're wrong. You don't mess with a man's family. You don't mess with a man's son. You don't. So, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What you want to do? You want to fight me or something? You stay away from my son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hit it, with, he hit it with the finger. <laughs> you stay away. And to me, that's valor. Because when a, when a father is willing to go to the biggest gangster in his neighborhood mm -hmm. and say, look him in the face. I know who you are. And I know you're this big time gangster, but yo, I'm the father. You're playing yourself out of position. Right. We'll fight. We'll have to do whatever it takes. But it's my family. When you stand for something, you will get whatever energy and strength that's deep down in you. It will, it will surface to make that difference. And what I really appreciated about that particular piece of dialogue was Sonny offered him a job to be a number taker, yeah. to run numbers. How many dudes would just say, oh, you're going to offer me a job? Side hustle. Side hustle. He residual income. And this was like <laughs> said, the 1950s. It was, no, it was like 1970s. So you could have been down with me. 150 right. cash a week. Mm -hmm. He was like, nah, nah, nah. I don't want the money then. I don't want it now. I'm going to stay a bus <laughs> driver. Nah, nah. A bus driver. Yeah. Yeah. And it's some of like, there's no respect in being a bus driver. He's like, you know what? You know what? Great yeah. movie. Everything. Great, great yeah, movie. Yeah. Great it's movie. such a great movie. We could continue on the Bronx Tale theme. You ready, Jazz? All yeah. right. So in this, team, this scene, we're going to demonstrate bad info and good info. People are always giving you good info, but sometimes they give you some bad info. <laughs> and you have to be able to discern the difference between the two. Now, in this scene, my co-host, yes, <clears throat> is playing C, the son. C. And this time, I'm Sonny. I met this girl. Yeah, so? I like her and everything, but she ain't white. She's from Webster Avenue. She a colored broad? <laughs> yeah. You, you like this girl? I do, but I don't want to hear all the guys, you know. Half of them is going to end up dead or in jail anyway. Nobody cares. The only thing that matters is what's good for you. How you feel about each other. Let me tell you something. When you're alone, late at night in bed, just you and her under the covers, that's all that matters, see? You got to do what your heart tells you to do. I'm going to tell you something right now. We're only allowed three great women in your lifetime. They come along like the great fighters, once every 10 years. Rocky Marciano, Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Lewis. Sometimes you get them all at once. Me, <laughs> I had all three when I was 16. That happens, what you're going to do. But that's the way it goes, you know? I tell you right now, see this girl? Maybe this girl, she put the wind under your sails. Maybe she's your first of the great ones. Wow, thanks a lot, Sonny. I think I'm going to go for it. She a good kid, this girl? I don't know. I just met her yesterday, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope so. Here's what you do. Tomorrow, you borrow my car. 
You 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 don't let anybody bo- borrow your car. That's all right. I'm going to lend you my car. I want you to make a good impression. You borrow my car, and then you give her the test. What, the Mario test? Why do you listen to this kid for? You give her my test. You give her the door test. Yeah. What's the door test? I listen to me. You pull up right where she is, and right when she gets out the car, you unlock the door, and then you step to the car, and you see if she lets you in. If she don't let you in that car, dump her. <laughs> dump her right on the spot. Just she's, like that? Just like that. That means she's a miserable creature you don't want her in your life. <laughs> dump her. Um, scene. Okay. <laughs> like, that wasn't in it. <laughs> yo, yo. You gotta add lips a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yo, <laughs> that part wasn't in it. I, I'm gonna keep it real. I cut and paste, and I guess I insufficiently cut so and paste. I, so I'm looking at my script. I'm like, oh well. But I don't. But but, um, but Curtis, I thought that that was both good info. I don't think that the door test was bad. Info. You know what? I don't think. See, no. okay, good and bad. I okay. think everybody loves the door test. Now, now see yes. the, the door. T- that's the modern day. That's yeah. the key because the door test to me is a socioeconomic test. If you uh, remember, this girl was from the Bronx, right? right. She rode the what? The train. train. And she rode the what? The bus. The bus. Mm-hmm. Her family didn't have cars. Right. Her f- how would she even have the cultural mm-hmm. equipment to know the door test if you ain't never been in a car before? No one in your family rides cars. So I thought that in this particular situation, oh, you thought that was insensitive. It's insensitive from oh. a socio-economical mm. cultural perspective. Oh. That only fits for his gangster scene of people with cars and your gangster malls and you know right. he he was imparting that personality mm. on a a 15 year old kid right and it does that to me that was bad advice whereas mm. the good advice was the first one if the girl makes you happy right right if, if you and her together that's all that that counts so on and so on and so forth and so it's um we did have one more scene from the Alley movie, let's but do it, let's I, do it. I, I don't have it. Oh. <laughs> now, yeah. I can come with you, you and write it. You made me pray. No, no, so, oh, I have a question for Jazz. Yeah. Did you ever get tested on the door test? Like, have you? Yeah, and I opened the door. I did it every time. No, I, but you know what messed up? What messed up? When the new, when the, um, when the, um, when the automated doors happened, right. you didn't need to do it oh, anymore. Oh, right. So I couldn't show that. Yeah. Oh, so I, I just, used to go and just open the door a little so the guy, when he came around, right. the door would be open a little. You know right, what I right. mean? My family had money. That's just true. That's true. That's true. That's true. So, there was no door test. You know, we, we had the two, tra- the two bus right in front of our door. We had the two, three, and bus right, right in front right, of our right, door. Right, right, right. So we were able to call Mr. Jones and say, can have the two bus ready? <laughs> so right. this is the last one, right? Yeah, and this is last. Okay. Yeah, but Oh. Uh-oh. This last one, <laughs> this last scene is about faith. Yes. And I'm showing you how you always have to have faith in your man. And when you don't have, and faith is something you can't touch, you can't feel. Uh-huh. You just have to have faith. And, but when a man knows that his woman doesn't have faith in him, it's hard to repair that. And we're going to uh-huh. demonstrate that in this scene. <sighs> just get it together. And sing. Sing. Here's your water. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bottled water, frozen steaks. Pour all that stuff in like Africa ain't got no steaks. You could pick up parasites. Mabutu eats it. Mabutu's taking care of Mabutu. He steals all the wealth and sends it to Switzerland. What that got to do with any of why we're here? We are here, Ali, because Don King got Mabutu to put up $10 million. Don King don't care about Africa, he's worse than Herbert. Oh, here comes Herbert. <laughs> uh-huh, and Don King fits right in too. Now he's a dashiki wearing ripoff. Don King delivered the first ever black promoted championship fight in America. Don King talks black, lives white, and thinks green, and you defend him and brother Herbert. Cause clean cut Muslims in a parade on the south side of Chicago ain't going to get this done. I gotta get honkies with connections and some badass niggas to do it. And now they match you with George Foreman? Do you think they give a damn if you get killed or not? Oh, so that's what you think? And so, scene. (laughs) And so basically, he was like, so when your wife feels you're gonna get killed in the ring and you're a boxer, 
when he felt that he didn't have her support, their relationship went down the tubes. Mm -hmm. If you remember the movie, mm -hmm. she hopped on the plane, mm -hmm. right? And she didn't even stay during his training period. Mm -hmm. That leaves a void. Mm -hmm. You know, there's certain words you in know. our lifetime that don't mean a lot, but you say those words and you get it. So mm -hmm. the first word is, oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? And the modern day O oh, is wow. <laughs> or fine. What, fine. Like, so when you hear a woman say, wow, mm -hmm. that means a lot, right? Mm -hmm. or, or really? Right. Really? Yeah. Right. Well, my wife says fine ain't nothing fine. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing fine. <laughs> so this has been a great husband tips. I mean, hey, I mean, hey. very, very thought out. I mean, what you have great become. Great acting, yes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I'm. Uh, you are a producer. You you produce everything else. So I mean, like this, this stuff took some. Oh, we got music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. You took it to the next level. You put time in this stuff, and you made me practice. I really didn't think I had that much to do this week. <laughs> Didn't practice my line so thank you uh curtis this week's husband tips and we're going to continue this on with the longer segment uh moving forward um so we're going to take a quick break up next next we have <laughs> i know right i ain't gonna tell y'all what's next just stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> all right good seeing you